Hi there and welcome. <laughs> I've just bought this enormous magnifying glass off a well-known internet website. Um, I had no idea how big it was going to be. Come on, Tess, up, up. Um, I think it's the sort of thing they use in nail salons and things because it's really something. And look at the, look at the light on it. Anyway, it is going to come in handy if you've got the space to sort of keep it. Tass, I think you need to get down now. Down? Good boy. Um, but I'll keep it out of the way for the time being. Today we're going to do cleaning Roman coins with this. It's called the Composite Cleaning Pencil and I suspect a lot of you have heard of it. Um, I have been using it now for about a month and I wanted to make sure I was really proficient at it before doing this sort of video. And you've got to be careful with this sort of video because they can go on and on so I'll try and keep it short and concise. You have several different inserts that come with the pen, even some brass ones which I think are for really heavily encrusted stuff on top of the coin. You've got to be very careful because that will scratch the surface. And talking about scratching the surface, the white one they say in the instructions is to gauge what sort of condition the coin is in crud wise, i.e. the encrustation on top of the actual coin itself. You want to be very careful with this because it is hard and sharp and it will scratch the surface of the coin, which the black one, provided you're careful, will not. This is very soft but you can get a really nice point on it as well. I'm talking of points, you want to be sharpening them fairly regularly with sandpaper um, to keep a nice sharp point. That, that will really help. The black one is what you're going to do the main amount of work with, which I'll show you in a minute. And the idea being is that it will remove stuff from the surface of the coin without actually scratching the coin itself. Now, I see this as basically a glorified upmarket super toothpick. It's not a magic wand. It's not going to suddenly make magically appear all sorts of detail and definition on a coin which has over a period of hundreds, perhaps thousands of years has gone. Very corroded coins are not going to get any better necessarily with the use of this. But providing there is something there to work with, this is as good a tool as anything I have used. Toothpicks are fantastic, but they go blunt incredibly quickly and they're very, very soft. They have their place, but this, this is what you really want, providing you use it carefully. So today we're just going to do it on Roman coins. As I said, if you want me to do more videos on other types of coin, especially this type of coin. This is a rose farthing. It's a sort of 16th century, well I think 17th century, tiny little bit of copper. Um, th th this works, this is brilliant on this sort of thing. But if you want me to do sort of Georgian coins and things like that, then, then we can do another video of those. But today we'll just concentrate on Roman ones. The ones we're mainly going to use, I'm going to use that one and that one. And I'm going to show you vaguely what I've done with that one and this one. You must gauge the condition of the coin before you start. Even with the softer one, the softer, sharper, black insert, if you've got a coin that's already getting soft, i.e. the bronze is really corroding, this isn't gonna help. This will go straight through the crud and it will go through the bronze as well. And I've got a coin here that I'm gonna show you that with because I don't mind it going bad. I've already fairly destroyed it by trying to clean it. So I'll show you what I mean. This works best when you've got something to work with. If you've got some definition on a coin like that, will have definition. And one I've started doing here has a lot of definition. With a magnifying glass and a decent point, you can work round it. But going at it hammer and tongs on a coin which is really too far gone, it's not, it's not gonna work. Let me show you what I mean. Let me get everything set up. Right, so here we are. I'm going to use these two. And I'm going to show you also these two and these two, um, which I've half done already, and then the one which is a bit buggered up already too. We'll start with that one, just so I can show you what I mean. I'm going to go straight in for the black one. It's a Constantinople commemorative. And to all intents and purposes, it looks okay there, but watch what happens even with the black one, when I try and clean it, I'm not rubbing it very hard. I'm just gonna do a bit on her cheek, on her, do you see? Even there, not rubbing very hard, I'm actually eating into the bronze. And I'm not hardly even touching it. Do you see? 
don't worry too much about this. It's not a particularly good coin anyway. And I have, you know, I've already sort of experimented on it. You will have to do this when you're cleaning Roman coins. It, there's a lot of experimentation goes on in all sorts of cleaning and everyone does it their own way as well. So don't let people tell you it's right or wrong. Just find your own way with it. But anyway, as I said, and the reason I know it's very soft is if I look on the other side, you can see where I've had a go at cleaning it already there and not doing it very much. I've already eaten far too much into the detail there and you can see more detail on the side that I haven't cleaned. But if I go into that now, even not doing it particularly hard, thinking that might be crud, that might be crud. It's not crud, I'm going straight into the bronze. It's a soft coin, be very careful. Right, now, let's start completely new with this one. It's a Constantine house of sort. It's got a lot of crud on it, and I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, let's start, as Graham from the Composite Pencil Cleaning Pencil Company suggests, you start with the white one just to assess what's, what's happening. Now, I think this looks quite soft as well, but already, just very gently, I can... You know, and most of this looks to me to be crud. Be very careful with this one, with the white one. Feels much scratchier right from the start. You want to be really careful with it. It really is from removing the tough stuff. So I'm going to go on to the black one fairly fast. Let's go on this side. Small strokes, you can see the effect it has. It's really, really, it's like a really sharp toothpick. That's how you've got to see it. I use very light sort of jabby, and I'm permanently wiping away with my finger so I can just see that I'm not overdoing it. Don't press too hard. As I said, everyone cleans differently, so there's no right or wrong way. You've just got to find your own way. Be very careful with it. As I said, don't expect magic. It's not a magic pen. You get this brilliant stuff as well. Um, I'm just going to put a bit of that on cleaning all sorts of artefacts. You're not supposed to use tap water because of all the chemicals it has in it. This stuff's... I need to get some more, actually. Now, you can, I can easily start making out some lettering on the legend. But if you're looking now, do you see... I'm going into the bronze slightly and I'm hardly touching it. So this coin is quite soft. Got to be very careful now, but there's definitely stuff coming up which wasn't there before. Have a look. Oh yes, lot, a lot more detail coming up. But I think I've got to be careful with this now. That is quite a soft coin. Now this one is one that I've half done already and it's coming out really nicely. Now this is a hard coin. There's not, I don't have to be nearly as careful with this. I, I've already done it. That one... The last one was quite soft, but this one, you'll, as you'll see, it's definitely Constantine. I, could, I, didn't, I couldn't see it first, but it's Constantinus M-A-X Org. Constantine the Great, Constantinus Max Org. And this is a really good example. So you can see where it's all cruddy on that side. No, you see it's coming off really nicely. And because there's a bit of definition there already, I can slightly work between the lines I can see. And I'm always just rubbing off with my finger to stuff. To... 
See, I'm going right through the crud straight onto the bronze and it's not effect, it's not scratching away at the actual bronze itself. Because I've got a better coin to work with. Not like that Constantine. Look, I'll show you again quickly. Not like this one, watch. Oops, I've even rubbed out a number straight away, as you see. Don't worry, I'm not worried about this coin. That's too soft. You've got to be able to gauge the condition of the coin. This not so, the, whatever I'm getting through here is actually the crud. It's not the bronze itself. Even though it gets a little bit tough just here. We might be eating into a bit of bronze there. Right, where are we? I know I can be a bit tougher with this one. Now around this side here, I'm not so sure. Be interesting to see how this comes off because it definitely looks a bit dirtier around his, his shoulders. But we've got the cons and the S and the T coming out. Give it a quick sharp, sharpen. Right, well, it's coming along now. There's another thing. The company also makes this rather good cleaning wax. And this is where I do use a toothpick. If I can find one. I really like this stuff. It does just sort of help lubricate it all. If you're, you do sometimes feel you're scratching away a bit of this stuff. So I like to put a bit of this on. I use a toothpick for this because it is much softer. I've already done the other side, so. And it should give me an idea of how much more we've got to go. And use this stuff right at the end. And you can use it on all sorts of things, not just coins, anything sort of bronzy. Forgotten how long, how long it takes to do these videos. I've been there about 20 minutes. But you've got to be careful. There's no point in rushing it. You can go back with the pencil after this stage. This is just to give me an idea of how far we've got. Right. Give it a rub off with the cloth. Well, that's pretty good for a first thing. I mean, it's really fun doing this. No, don't rush it. Just take your time. Work it out by trial and error what you can do and what you can't do. Right, I see, I've scratched a little bit there, but that might not be. And I can see C-O-N-S-T, Constan, I've got, I've got almost all the legend coming out there. Um, now, this will take the wax back off a bit if you, when you restart. But I think that's pretty good. Quite nice having a toothpick right at the end. This is much softer. This, once you rub the toothpick after the wax, it will have the effect of polishing it, polishing it all up a bit. Well, not perfect yet. There's got a few more things to have a go at there. That's pretty good. I'm really pleased with that. It's come out really nicely. Um, I'll go over that a couple more times using exactly the same process. I might even take a photograph of it right at the end. I didn't do it before, I'm afraid. But you... Yeah, isn't that brilliant? Well, I think that's worked really well. I mean, I had no idea what was going to happen, and I'm, I'm pleased with the result. So, yeah, information on all these products below. I really would suggest that for all sorts of things. It's brilliant. I need litre bottles of this stuff, quite honestly. And although I also use Renaissance wax, I prefer this stuff. I think this gives a better finish. Um, so yeah, the composite cleaning pencil. Please let me know if you want me to do more videos like this because it's really good fun um, and I enjoy doing them. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.